I might be wrong to give a concrete reason as to why anybody will choose Scorpion on a tablet or phone over PC. And you would also be wrong to choose Scorpion on a tablet or phone because you think it's better than PC. Regardless, there should be reasons and these are mine. You can also share your reasons in the comment section below. I would appreciate it. My first reason why I think most people sculpt on tablet and PC has to do with um, escaping the use of mouse which most people claim doesn't give detailed um, and precise control which can be frustrating and so they tend to opt in for either the phone or tablet for precise control. Number two, as most beginners want to try out this phone before making huge investments which is fair in my opinion but for some it's just a matter of low budget. Investing in a huge PC might cost too much so the best place to start are surely the device they have in their pocket. Some also just don't want to deal with the depth and mats PC sculpting comes with and so they simply jump on what they have in their pocket which is their phones or tablets. Now I had to make mention of all these for a specific reason. If majority of people going to sculpt on an iPhone or iPad or Android are going to be absolute beginners and certain amateurs, then I think most of the price deals are just not okay and I'll take time to break that down getting to the close of this video. Sculpt Plus for now functions solely on Android, offering a range of tools and features for digital artists. However, it comes with some limitations and issues, especially regarding its pricing and performance. Now to talk of pricing, Sculpt Plus is advertised as a free app. Now this is where I got bored with the app, aside all the good features it has to offer. You download the app, spend tons of time sculpting one model only for you to export after all those times and hard work you put into the project and then you are hit with a price to export 15 usd for that matter dude i felt scammed for a minute i'm not going to lie personally i think 15 usd is too much for what it offers a more reasonable approach could be allowing users to watch ads to export one or two models per day for free with a payment option for additional import and export. The current pricing and how they take payment isn't appealing. I think the app would be fire if it allowed import and export for a limited time before requiring payment or maybe the developer should simply request payment upfront so people don't get to waste time using the app. This trick is old. Second thing is the sculpting tools provided are minimal for the price, whilst the Z Sphere feature is great. Right, it has Z Sphere and it's fire until you overuse it, especially with high subdivision models, and then your device begins to crash. However, these performance issues are less noticeable when running Sculpt Plus on BlueStacks. If you have a quite decent machine, you should simply download BlueStacks install Sculpt Plus and then try sculpting using it but I don't see why anybody would have a computer with Blender for free and still have to download BlueStacks and run Sculpt Plus, right? My other issue with this software is lack of tutorials. Um, Sculpt Plus lacks tons of tutorials. It would be beneficial if the developers invested in creating quality tutorials on YouTube. If you've used Blender or ZBrush Lite before, you might manage the software but beginners will struggle to navigate the app without guidance. Okay, so doing away with my personal issues with the app, let's talk about what the app offers you. My number one is going to be 3D painting. Now you get to paint directly on the model, even um, within the free version, you get to do that but then you are unable to export it if you aren't able to make the final payment, right? 
and so it still boils down to still making payment or still getting the full version to experience the full um, potential of this app my number two is going to be sculpting tools you also get um better sculpting tools brushes to flatten pinch push rotate and more um, quality and base shapes i think tools for creating high quality models and base shapes that's what i mean the user interface it's very friendly i would say customizable colors and themes and layouts um, the kids will love it right stylus support you are able to set pressure sensitivity for better sculpting experience which i think is was very very thoughtful and then the auto save continuous auto save feature for this particular app was very very standout and it's one thing that i really 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 appreciated and i think this particular app also does well with the number of file formats it uh, offers you in export and import and so it's able to export and import obj st or glb files um, images in png file format with customizable transparency you are able to export gif files which is okay and then custom textures you are able to create custom metcaps alpha textures and hdri textures for pbr rendering the other thing would be mesh constructor I think with this app it's much easier to create sketches of 3d models with basic mesh constructor and then you also get a vdm brush um, which allows you to create custom vdm brushes and then it's rendering capabilities right you are able to mesh um, subdivision remesh voxel boolean functions voxel remeshing and pbr rendering you are also offered uh, quite a number of lighting options like directional spot and point lights to eliminate your creation in summary i would say sculpt plus is a powerful tool for anyone who simply wants to try out sculpting on mobile or tablets um, before investing into it however the pricing and performance issues needs to be addressed to make it a solid recommendation i would have given it a four star rating but i would give it a three simply because of how they tricked me into paying for the app right nomad sculpt yeah another powerful app available on both ios and android now nomad offers a wide range of features for digital artists but it also got some quirks on its own um, quirks to do with its pricing um, performance and device compatibility and so let's talk about its pricing one major drawback is the need to pay 20 usd to export models on android right so the free version is already limited now the problem here is simple why would the free version be limited if you can't even export your work right just open it so users can play within it it's not as if they can really get their works out if unpaid right the same complaint i made concerning sculpt plus new android users will sculpt for hours only to be asked to make payments before exporting and so if they are unable to provide payment then it means all their hours of work is just gone like that and i'm not sure i'm the only android user who has a problem with this tactical way of requesting for payment provide us with a hint right perhaps offer a limited number of free exports per first time user with a hint to pay the next time um, they sculpt something you know but this strategy to get people to pay at all costs simply because they put in more hours is really annoying okay so let's get down to device compatibility this is just another personal take right if you've tried nomad on both mobile and tablet you would realize the software is best suited for tablet rather than mobile even larger phones don't provide the best experience but on tablets 
it's just awesome app crash is a huge quirk here and my only reason will be one the app still got some more work since developers are doing well putting um, it on android and ios so i give them that pass but it's too much in my opinion out of nine different phones i tested this on simply to be very sure only three were super stable awesome on google pixel 7 and 8 and then the samsung galaxy um, s23 ultra and i'm sure it has to do with the processor the mediatek devices just wouldn't hold um, the software for that long especially if the models get dense or some sort and i think overheating too yeah and so for 20 usd you get voxel sculpting too those um of you coming from 3d code shouldn't take time to get used to this app but i think it needs more work done because it crashes a lot the little work you put into voxel just kills the app right it's like bye no voxel sculpting here <laughs> that's funny also you get cool brushes several brush types including those sensitive to pencil um, pressure also offers you the possibility to cut um, and loop polygons useful for detail sculpting in my opinion yeah and then layer measurement separate your modification into different layers to avoid damaging certain areas and i think this was amongst the main features that i really admired most maybe i'm just used to layers yeah and then the other thing will be vertex painting you are able to paint directly on your model with various brush types and then what else voxel rendering and remeshing yeah now this is where i got stuck a little bit because although this feature is so well my device got hot most often and the battery at this point tends to die quick the battery just keeps reading low too fast i can't really tell why but i think it's something that should be looked at yeah i think these are a couple of um, features that i think any pro or amateur or anybody downloading this software should look out for it's really great now when it comes to limitations i think the same i spoke for sculpt plus lack of tutorials there are no good tutorials to help absolute beginners right and then the other one would have to do with the undo button the undo button is locked unless payment is made for android users right it's not the same for ios users because with ios you would need to pay before you enter into the software but for android users you need to download use it nothing shows you need to pay and then later on you are hit with the payment option if you try to export right just take the payment right after the download this isn't fair to android users unless there's a particular reason which i would love to know and so first time users who can't pay can use the limited version of the software without the ability to undo an export what's that supposed to mean right what was that for and also you don't you don't get uv mapping right and uv mapping isn't anything that i would actually expect from a tablet or mobile device sculpting and so that's fine paid users might have to look elsewhere maybe maya or blender since it gives you that export options to do that so you continue uv mapping in other softwares after you are done with your work in normal sculpting the other downside would have to do with system requirements right that should be a downside creating detailed objects like hair fabric or fur is limited by device ram that is why i mentioned the devices it crashes on from the early stages sucks a lot of device strength and so if you are amongst those people experiencing lots of crashes 
then it could simply be that your device doesn't meet their requirements and i'm not sure if they have their device requirements written down anywhere for people to check out okay so these are a couple of things to note concerning nomad sculpting one will be 3d printing it's suitable for illustration purposes and 3d printing although uh, decimation pass could improve the results and the other would be game assets it's not a software you would want to create game assets in because it lacks um, features like animation rigging and proper pbr texturing for now right now my suggestion for the developers will be that they improve the single vertex movement it's hard to move a single vertex in straight line which is basic but very useful and so if they could give us the advantage of locking either x y or z axis so we could move in straight line i think that would be cool and also do their best to put out more tutorials out there for beginners to start with Sculptura 3d is another powerful app but as it stands now it's super exclusive for certain ipad models right and the price is at 10 um, usd for now it offers high quality and detailed meshing its sole purpose is to model and you don't get no support for rendering or painting but it's a good app overall and some of the key features will be one high resolution clay sculpting engine uh, no need to worry about meshes or triangles you can cut holes freely and it takes advantage of the full gpu acceleration which uses meta for enhanced performance and the other thing will be its long undo history i think this is one of the things that i liked about the app you don't have to worry sculpting because it's undo history is so long you can go back and redo certain things at any time um, you want if there need be you also get a real-time rendering uh, which ensures your sculpting looks great throughout the process apple pencil support which enhances precision and control and the latest ipad i think will do so well running this particular app also artist created templates now this provides starting points and inspiration and so the moment you download the app you have before you click on any of the options or tools you want to use you get instructions and guidance as to how to maneuver your way through which i think is very very great right file support you are able to import and export alembic obj stl and usd files one other feature would also have to do with it symmetric sculpting which which is a feature in there to ensure that your models are balanced right another thing will be efficient materials and lighting easy to use for realistic results and then small file sizes optimizes um, optimized storage without sacrificing quality now when it comes to its limitations now the limitations i'm about to list out are general limitations the previous ones i noted out there were my personal quirks that i encountered while using this app now these are general limitations anybody downloading this app should look out for number one is going to be no ui display for poly count and so it's difficult to track poly count during sculpting and i think if the developers have decided to make their software or app function on high-end ipads i think this feature should be made available to us the second thing is you don't get any detailed tutorials aside the few hints you are being given on the display when you open the app there should be better tutorials on youtube people or absolute beginners could go um, and learn from or should you encounter any error i think there should be tutorials or things of that sort online people could um, um, make use of also 
top professionals might find it to be very basic right that was just by the way okay so since nomad is also on ios and seem like the big guy out there i decided to place them side by side to see how they both um, do right for people who might have ipads and get stuck in between which one to go for so number one is going to be usability now with usability nomad scope is supported both on ios and android and you get more tools and it's better for offering multi-resolutional sculpting when it comes to sculpture 3d it's exclusively to ios certain ipad models high-end models right and with and it focuses on ease of use and high-end resolution clay engine now when it comes to features nomad sculpt is more comprehensive including layering and voxering remeshing although it crashes and overheats your machine i think it's good and if the developer should work more on it it would be okay while sculpture 3d provides an advanced clay engine but lacks rendering and painting capabilities when it comes to price pricing nomad is 15 on android 20 on ios whilst sculpture is 20 on ipad making it more budget friendly but not device friendly tell me how many people are going to get an ipad simply to use sculpture 3d right it would be best to rather spend on a good drawing tab for your computer and run blender or something that's just my take i had to add this game development sculpture 3d is better or best suited for game development because of its gpu acceleration and voxel based geometry with nomad sculpt it's not ideal it's not an I, I think i mentioned it already it's not a platform where people into gaming assets should even consider and then my last comparison would have to do with um, 3d printing nomad sculpt is promoted for 3d printing with steady export format and and voxel remeshing whilst sculpture 3d is good for starting models but lacks comprehensive 3d printing features and so um what you can do is try it right for tablet for ipad users who wouldn't be willing to spend 20 on nomad if if, simply because you only want to print if you decide it's sculpture you want to use kindly download the software try it out to see if it meets your requirement and then you can take it on from there when it comes to professional use case scenario sculpture 3d excels with so many artists recommending not necessarily recommending but giving their take on how good it was right it's real-time rendering and its compatibility with premium um, 3d models with nomad sculpt it offers advanced sculpting options and high detailed retention but um with the quirks that i made mention of people somehow retract from it a little bit but they still come back anyway because it's like um, the best you can get on ios if you don't have um, an ipad and so it's not something you can really escape you just have to make do with it for 5 usd you get a software solely on ipad and other apple devices not on android yet right you have support for apple pen and it's well optimized for ipad pro down to iphone 7. you can export in xtl obj Mm, truth be told i just used this app they didn't really write down anything maybe i was just tired or bored you know yeah you can check it out because it made it out to my list there were others i tested heavily but dropped them because i didn't think it had what it takes to make it into uh, this video they were cool they were cool some were really cool but maybe i just felt they were simply far from what the majority might need it for 
hey drop any of them softwares you think is great and if you could provide a bit of details to it in the comment sections below with links to their download pages i would appreciate it and if there was any anything i missed or errors i made kindly um, um fix them or correct me in the comment section below what are we here for to learn right until my next video peace out